this um, Royal King and it's still air incubator. It was the cheaper one. Um, it didn't have a fan that moved the air around there. I think that just means that um, the temperature may not be as regulated and I might want to move the eggs around more. I don't know. Uh, there also is um, um, an automatic turner you can buy for it, but it doesn't have it with it that just turns the eggs. So I'll have to turn all the eggs by myself. You have to uh, turn them, otherwise the embryo will grow and stick to the side of one side that it's laying on, I guess, all the time. So you have to move them around a little bit. So, because I've never, I've never raised chicks before. I've never um, done this. I had chickens when I was a child, but that was all my parents doing. It had nothing to do with me. So, I am going to figure this out here. I it on um, halfway, and I'll see um, what that does and how hot that gets. And I'll come back, and I'm going to, it says to leave it on for about six to eight hours to make sure that it holds and reaches the right temperature and everything before you put the eggs in, which would be perfect because the eggs need to sit um, before they go in also. Okay, and in here, I think are the eggs. Wow, that's so cool. I got a mix of eggs. Um, they're all different kinds. Um, I couldn't decide what colors of quail and the different kinds, so I decided to just get the variety mix it said. So it was a mix of colors, so when they hatch out and grow up, I'll be able to see what they are. I hadn't put gloves on because I could wash my hands with those. They're so dirty. They also still looked really stained from the black walnuts. Look how tiny and cute that is. So cool. So I'm supposed to just let these sit for 12 to 24 hours with the large side up to settle. Okay, so I am in the little closet here. <laughs> it is not very, very big, just a couple feet. But I have the door closed and um, try to keep the warmth in here. So we're trying to get this regulated. Um, I had it for a little bit ago and then I turned down a little bit because I thought that it might be too hot, but now I think it's too cold, but I'll figure it out. These are going to sit in here for a little bit first. I'm going to go ahead and take them out and set them all on here. I have them all out and setting so they can just sit. This one here is cracked, I believe. So I'm going to take it and throw it away because I do not want it to raw and explode in the incubator. But the rest of them all look okay. I don't think any of the others are cracked. I'm just gonna let these rest in here until I can get this to get the proper temperature, which I think it just did. So I'm gonna let it go for a little bit. The humidity is okay. But I'm gonna let these sit for about 12 hours or so before I put them in the incubator. Okay, this is regulated. And it's been about 15 hours or so, maybe more. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the incubator. Okay, I have them all in. I'm going to go ahead and close the incubator and come back in about five hours to turn them. Okay, I will try this again here with the 150 watt bulb. 